G'day, my name is Peter Smith Young, and in this video, we're going to look at how to uh, install and use the Whisk 5 add on. So, to access the add on, you need to go to the uh, add on marketplace, which you can go by access by clicking on configure and then account settings and going over to the add ons tab there. From here, um, you can see the current installed add ons, and I've only got one, uh, but you want to click on find add ons in order to access the Whisk 5 uh, add on. So, here it is in the top right hand corner here. So I'm just going to click on this, click install, and then click install now to confirm that you're willing to pay the $20 per month for, per account. So um, now before you can use it, you actually need to uh, just configure it briefly. So to do that, we can go back to our uh, account by clicking view account and then um, once that loads, you're just going to click on uh, configure. So here you just need to add your piece and member ID. Now if you don't know your piece and member ID, you can access that um, from any emails that you've been sent recently from um, Pearson Clinical. You can reach out to them via live chat on the Pearson Clinical website, which is located on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, or we can give them a call on 1300 for Pearson. So I'm, for now I'm just going to add this, uh, my Pearson number, check that you've clicked these two consent boxes, click save, and then once that's saved, you're able to use it within your account, which I'll show you now with my client, Caitlin. So here I'm in a call with my client, uh, Caitlin. As you can see on the left, you can see uh, Caitlin's view and on the right is, is my view. So now I wanna open up the WISC-5 assessment. So I'm gonna click on the Add Tools button up the top and click on the WISC-5 Stimulus Book. So uh, as that opens on, the, um, on my screen, you can see uh, the same screen will appear on, on uh, Caitlin's side. However, on Caitlin's view, things have changed a little bit. So Caitlin can no longer see the controls. Um, she can only see my camera and the document. Now, Caitlin can't resize or close the document and her toolbar is now hidden. So she can uh, receive the toolbar again by moving her mouse over to the top, um, but otherwise it's, it's now hidden from view. So jumping over to look at my display, um, we have this uh, this bar at the top. Um, I can look at different pages in the stimulus book, including the context, the, co the content, or all of the, uh, the um, all the subtests, and you can navigate your way through the book by clicking on these uh, arrows up the top. So, um, uh, if Caitlin wanted to, um, for example, click on the uh, box, you know, the item that fits inside that box, um, then you can see her mouse is uh, moving along here. And when she actually clicks, you'll see a little annotation um, mark appear. If she clicks a second time, um, do you want to click on another box, Caitlin? You'll see that the annotations are numbered, so you can have a look at the order um, in which they appear. Thank you, that's perfect. Um, so it's worth noting that if you um, move over to the next page, um, then those annotation um, and, and you return to that uh, original page, the annotations remain there, and you can always uh, clear those annotations by clicking the Clear Annotations button at the top. Now, um, you can also uh, hide the page so that the client can't see it, um, and you can see in the bottom left here, it says Not Visible to Subjects, and this is great for if you wanted to click through pages without clients seeing them. Uh, the final um, thing you can do here is you can also zoom in and zoom out, which of course your client can see uh, too. So thank you so much for being my uh, client, Caitlin, and um, you can uh, close out of that, um, that uh, by clicking exit here, and then, uh, but you, you can still access that within the active tools bar. So it's still active if you wanted to go back to it. Those results are then are still saved in that document. For a full tutorial on how to use this add-on and CoView platform, feel free to check out our full webinar on Pearson Clinical's webinar page. Thank you.